And what would be self-love, Amberlynn? Getting back on the weight loss surgery program. That would be tremendous self-love because that would mean you'd love yourself enough to do the hard things to get you. Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I see that Amberlynn Reed did finally post last night. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. So actually, Papa and I and the youngest Goob have been gone since Tuesday. We uh, got home really late last night. We were dropping him off at college, which was bittersweet. Um, he's super far away, like a good, annoying plane ride and a bunch of driving. So um, he's in the middle of nowhere. But I think it'll be good for him. <laughs> he's playing football, so they're already working him hard. Um, I could see that he silenced all notifications on his phone this morning because I was going to, like, call, but nope. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, Amberlynn Reed, apparently, I clued her in, so she was nice enough to not post while I was gone. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with it. It looks like she's going to talk about intuitive eating, oh, please no, and depression. So we'll see. So, All right. Intuitive eating is hard. Awareness around depression symptoms and getting rid of memories. So this right now just speaks to me of pity party Lynn. Okay. We'll give her a shot, but you know, how can she do hard things? You know, like me personally, if something's hard, I just don't do it because it's hard. <laughs> Guys, you get nowhere in life by not doing the hard stuff. I'm, I'm just saying. But in her case, intuitive eating is not going to work on her. All right. She intuitively got herself to nearly 600 pounds. So I don't know. Let's see. Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. Long time no see. I'm already missing you. So, hello, hello. So, if she's saying long time no see, what happened to the video that she was supposed to post on Monday? I feel like she would have posted that, right? But this is a new video. So, that's peculiar. I woke up so early. I'm truly trying to fix my sleeping schedule i only slept for under four hours so okay that's crazy i did wake up to some rain it's not a storm so i'm not worried about no tornadoes okay it's okay. just a beautiful rainy day and i'm a pluviophile which means well it's a beautiful rainy day because you don't have to go anywhere but the rest of us who's trying to get you know kids out to daycare that was the worst when it rained getting to work the traffic, because nobody knows in Florida how to drive in the rain. I'm glad it's good for you. That's great. Someone who finds peace and happiness when it's raining, that is literally me. Great. Hi, nice to meet you. Good. My hair is now up. I swear, I can't go. So she does have washed hair, guys. So there's a new boo. Mm -hmm. Full day without wearing my hair down. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I just woke up from a nap. I don't even know if I should consider it a nap. It was like a freaking three-hour escapade. I was so tired. Okay, it wasn't three hours. Four, four and a half. Oh, wifey's still there. Uh-huh. Well, she's there right now. Like four. What? Don't so waking up, I'm like, am I hungry? Hungry. No, because I'm trying to do the whole intuitive thing and like the normal side. If you have to ask yourself, you're hungry, you're not. I mean, would eat something right now. But what about the intuitive girly? Like, I don't know how to like find hunger cues. Right. I don't know. Like, I know. Your hunger cues are broken and they're not going to get fixed until you drastically lose weight and work on yourself. They're not. Hunger pain. And I know that feeling and stuff, but like. In a moment like this, I feel like maybe I'm just like head hungry, not like physical hunger. But like, do normal people only eat? Yes. Physical hunger? So well, no, because a lot of times it just depends on the situation. Like, let's say, um, you know, back in the day I was going over my grandmother's house after school. I wasn't necessarily hungry, but she had all her lemon cookies out. So you bet I had a couple. You know, it just depends on the situation. I say if you're home, and you wake up from a nap and you're not ravenous, 
move on to another activity. Don't keep thinking about it. It's like, I don't get it. Shit ain't on up. Intuitive eating is hard sometimes. Like, I'm not going to lie. So. No, Amber Lynn Reed. Lie to us. And thanks for the boob shot. Just what I needed. I don't know what to do. And then it's like, if I do eat, do I want to order out? Or do I want to, like, cook something here? Cook. It's just a lot of questions. Like, oh. I think I think too hard about it. I'm you do. Because you have nothing else to do. Going on, but she's kind of getting, like, healthier. And no, she's not. Cut it. Thicker. Yeah. Okay, so I did not order out. But I did have a couple of pineapple rings. I had two. And then I also had some leftovers from last night, which was turkey, kielbasa, and onion. So I'm proud of myself for the choice that I made. And I waited for about an hour because I ended up realizing that I actually was hungry. So I feel like I made a really positive uh, Whatever. choice. Great. Hey, guys. So my hair is looking a mess. I've been Keep pulling on it. I want to do a little P.O. Box segment. Oh, God. So if this sucks, we're skipping it just to let you know. What? Where's the no food? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What happened? All right, guys. So I ended up skipping that. She got a bunch of letters. She got a building kit to make these little, looks like glass houses, like a hot house or something. I don't know, just what she doesn't need right now. So I skipped it. Um, oh, and now we're going to get another discussion of this very expensive $150 organizational piece. I'm about to go through all my hairspray. <sighs> I used to have even more than this. Be shocked. But yes, I'm about to go through this right now. So let's do it together as best friends. Guys, this is brutal. I'm going to leave the kitty cat in. Where are you trying to take my hair stuff? Girl, what are you doing? Okay. So Feline actually got me this scrunchie. Oh, Feline again. She's still there. Well, for right now. <laughs> she calls me a fake Gryffindor. <laughs> because I'm okay. a Gryffindor, but every time I take up like a test <laughs> or whatever, it says that I'm Hufflepuff. Oh, so. okay, great. I'm so happy that you're so excited about an imaginary thing. Right? Oh, cool. Hi, God. I have the, I have a confession. Okay. Mama Goob has never watched a Harry Potter movie. Uh, the Goobs, the older one, read them and watched them. Um, and then everybody else, my papa's watched them. I just don't have the energy for it. Uh, so. All right. So I'm going to go through all them and then I'll show you which ones I have decided to keep and which ones I'm going to get rid of. All right, so these are the ones I decided to keep. Not many, I will say. Ooh, she got rid of Feline's scrunchie. But I prefer, like, the fluffier ones, I think. Um, I did keep some of these guys because I do like green. Uh, oh, she still likes green. Amazing. Um, I don't know. I also really like light browns and browns. And, Good. You know, we'll see. But these are all the ones I'm going to get rid of. You're going to have to pitch them. Um, I'm going to give to Goodwill. Yes, I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just too many memories. <sighs> and Feline understands. So, Imagine if she would have gotten like a ring or some piece of jewelry. <laughs> Friggin' what? $5 scrunchie? They got expensive lately, but come on. Right now I am <sighs> spam. Wait a second. She's, she's using a metal. I'm sorry. My, I just twitched a little. She's using a metal spatula. Listen, I have gotten out of the whole metal spatula thing, even with my stainless steel pots and pans. I don't know. Listen, Use metal on the grill. Broccoli. And over here I have some rice and a little rice cooker. Holy shit. No frozen rice in your busy schedule? You had time to steam rice? That's amazing. Alright, so here is my Complete. Are those peanuts? Did food here. Also put a little bit of peanuts on top because that's how I like it. And that okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did she cook the broccoli? I think the broccoli's cooked. 
and also a little bit of sriracha and soy sauce. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be going through some of my cups. I, I could, I'll take those uh, glasses right there. <laughs> we go through glasses and stuff like crazy in this house. And my glasses. But now that'll end because I only have one goob left and hopefully he'll leave soon. Just seeing what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of, because I am doing a packing. Okay. Like I'm packing a little by little every day, so it just what's helping me. I'm definitely going to keep some of these cute ones. They're like little coffee cups, but they're clear. My favorite color, clear. Cute. So I'm going to keep two of those. I'm not going to be keeping these. Those are ugly. Do you want to keep them? those? Did those go to her last plates that she got rid of? No, I don't think so. This Charlie's cup, this plastic cup. Okay. And then we got two of these. They're for Moscow Mules. This is from the Hunter Kill game that Selena and I used to play, but I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah. So this is a cute tumbler. Oh, I think she got that from a viewer, right? No? That someone got me. Yeah. Because they said this looks like Twinkie. It does. So I'm going to keep it. Great. So I do have quite a few of these type of glasses, which honestly I don't really use. So I'm going to get rid of those as well. So I have another glass like this. Where is it? Oh, I have gotten my stuff. <sighs> I don't want to bother Colleen. <laughs> use this thing. <laughs> Come on. Susan. Riveting. Absolutely riveting. Thank you. Will she will she or won't she break it? This came with this little um <sighs> wooden thing, but this wooden thing kind of gives me like germaphobe. So what I'm gonna do with I remember when she bought those. Didn't they have glass straws too? Felina's is gonna keep the one with the wooden guy. Because the other one went missing. I don't know how. So I'm going to keep this one. As for these wine glasses, I'm not really a drinker. I haven't drank since April 2022. Y'all do catch me drinking milk out of these things, but... Milk. Truth be told, I don't really uh, need them. So I'm going to get rid of them. Yeah, donate them. Somebody could definitely use that. We have two of these. Pilsners. Which I do plan on keeping because sometimes oh. I use them. They might be a little small for Pilsners. Very rare. You know what the other thing I find funny? Um, and maybe it's just the way I grew up. Whatever. She doesn't have anything for like entertaining. You know, I guess, listen, you guys, you younger ones, do you guys not do that anymore? Because that's just weird to me. You know, like I always, when I buy stuff, um, I get stuff in like the largest, like... Recently, I had to buy new utensils just for Thanksgiving, just fancy ones, because God only knows what my kids do with my other ones. It was like a service for 12, you know, and I was stressing about that because there was going to be more than 12 people. Do, do you guys not do that anymore? I don't know. I'm perplexed. By the way, refill your paper towels, baby girl. So these are literally all the ones I'm keeping and all the ones I'm getting rid of. That's crazy. That's a lot. Hello. So Again. I'm about to take a shower. Great. I'm sitting here. Well, not sitting here. Standing here. Are we going to get lectured? This is a bathroom lecture, isn't it? I should be here. And I think I just got sad. <laughs> I'm already sad because there's not a lot of, like, awareness around, like, depression and, like, how. Um, Okay, guys, do me a flavor. Raise your hand if you don't know about depression. I mean, listen. Oh, gosh, how can I say this without sounding like an idiot? The internet is full of mental illness, people talking about it. I mean, there's YouTube videos about it. At this point, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you've encountered at least one video that's all about depression. That's all I'm going to say. I, I don't know why our girl is uh, slow on the uptake, but let's see what she says. Maybe I should give her a chance. Probably not. Hair brushing is one of the very first things that people with like severe depression stop doing. Um, okay. Mats in their hair, like really big knots that are like 
Hey, I've gotten big knots in my hair, especially as a kid, and I wasn't really depressed. It's really bad. Sometimes I have to be cut out. Like, I've been there. I haven't been there before. And I just recently told you guys that I didn't brush my hair for, like, over two weeks, and I just got a lot of hate. <laughs> Just oh, come effing on. Come on. Come. You got hate. How did you fucking get hate? How, did they knock at your door? Unfair, cruel cool things were said. <sighs> Why did you listen? You realize that, like, she's not an effort I think what I was saying before is, um, I mean, look, I, I call me insensitive, fine, because, okay. Unless they're knocking at your door or sending you, you know, I don't know. I would close the P.O. box if people sent me stuff like that. But if they're just comments on Instagram, dude, why are you even reading them or on YouTube? Don't read them. kindness in the world when it comes <sighs> to, like, mental health. You know that when Amberlynn is not brushing her hair, I mean, she's not doing good at all. Well. I just want to let everyone know that... Like in this moment, I brushed my hair four nights in a row. Oh my fucking God. Really? You brushed your hair four nights in a row? That's amazing, guys. I mean, really. Come on. Come on. my Guys, my sympathy bone is exhausted today. <laughs> and that's a lot for me. <laughs> because I am going through a lot. Oh, yeah. She's going through a lot. Yep. Uh, guys, I'm so sorry. I just cannot. I cannot be sensitive right now. Not after the last couple weeks that I've had. Nope. Sorry. This ain't happening. Get myself out of it. It's taken a lot of strength. I have a fucking idea. I have an idea. Right? You want to get out of it? Call your psychiatrist, dude. You have every fucking opportunity in the world. Okay, you guys got me cursing, sorry. She got me cursing. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. She has every fucking tool in front of her, okay? Because I, I read the comments, you guys. I see a lot of you don't have the ability to just ring up your psychiatrist and talk and get medicine, okay? It's very expensive. She has insurance and she has the ability to pay. So why the fuck isn't she dealing with this with her psychologist and therapist? Or are we just going to play the perpetual victim because depression's hard, intuitive eating is hard, and when Amber Lynn Reed doesn't brush her hair, guys, that's a fucking signal to you to be nice to her because the world has to revolve around Amber Lynn Reed's motherfucking depression. No, this got me. Oh, this got me because Mama Goob has not been having an easy time for the last few weeks. So this friggin' person has every opportunity. She can have an appointment at any time she wants. Um, she can get an Uber to a local doctor if, um, you know, they, they're not doing virtual. This pisses me off. Because, like, I'm actively hurting. Good. Like, None of us are. Trying, nope. Just trying to give myself more self-love and just improving in that way. You know what would be self-love, Amberlynn? Getting back on the weight loss surgery program. That would be tremendous self-love because that would mean you'd love yourself enough to do the hard things, to get yourself out of this fucking mess that you're in, okay? But like, are there going to be so many jokes and just like... Yeah, you need to please get your fucking head out of your ass. All right. There's, would you turn off TikTok, turn on, I don't know, CNN on YouTube? There is so much fucking suffering out there. There are people who cannot afford to buy groceries. And this freaking person just, guys, oh my God, she wants the world to revolve around depression. No, it doesn't work like that. I mean, I hate to tell you, when you're depressed, that's like a kind of a you issue, all right? Loved ones need to help you realize to get actual help, but to sit there and wallow in your depression like it's some kind of incurable disease, which maybe it is, but it can be managed, is just a insult to the year 2023 and the hardship 
a lot of us are having. It's being said about people with depression, like not brushing their hair. All right, so we ended on that bullshit. That was bullshit, guys. Nothing gets me going more than Amberlynn Reed wallowing in her friggin' issues. So I can't wait to read the comments on this. So we've got 30.9 views, though almost 31,000, 916 comments, and 568 likes. She posted this 15 hours ago. So, and she's still got cameo on there. Interesting. You know what? Does she say no food in her thing? Oh, yeah, she does. Good. Good for you, Amber. But listen, guys. I, I cannot wait to see what people said about this because I guarantee you the questions are going to be 10 to 1. Get your head out of your ass. All right. So let's see. The fact that Amber still believes that she can do this by herself baffles me. It's been a decade and she's only gotten further away from her goal. Intuitive eating is not going to work. She needs to be in a controlled environment with professionals at this point. Yes, who can get her down to a safe enough weight. Then she can continue to do intuitive eating, do whatever she wants, but she's still in very much danger. And the denial is thicker than I've seen in years. I mean, I seriously don't think I've seen denial like this from her ever. Like this is, this is pretty big. Lecturing us about depression while literally out of breath just from brushing your hair. I wonder what would make you happy, Amber. I don't know. A new, a new boo? That would make her happy. You know the next victim is acquired when she actually washes her hair. Yeah. Intuitive eating is hard. Wow. I mean, it's almost like someone who's been consuming 5,000 calories a day for a decade can identify hunger cues. Shocking. <laughs> You're back, queen. So proud of you for doing the bare minimum. Well, she brushed her hair. Jeez. Come on, battle damage princess. Lighten up. She brushed her hair. What'd you do today? By the way, she never did give us an explanation for where she went or where that video that refused to upload Monday went. I don't know. You know, and I'm going to say something that is controversial, but I fucking hate people like this. If you're hungry, drink water. The brain often confuses thirst for hunger. It has to be water, not diet crap. I mean, come on. Who fucking knows not th that you need to drink water? I hate people like this. Like, oh, it's, oh, it's so simple. When you're hungry, drink water. Just shows me that this person's never been obese. She, sh she says she doesn't know her hunger cues, but stopped working with almost every professional that could help her, aside from her, maybe her therapist. Like, this would be a great thing to work on with a dietitian or nutritionist or whatever, but that's our girl. You know, geez. Uh, LL101, LL. Have some compassion, man. It's hard. She has depression. Does this feel unfinished to anyone else? I mean, yeah, she just ended it. No, no explanations on anything. Bunch of nothing. <laughs> I feel like this is way backdated. And she found a clip where Feline spoke and was like, yes, posting this plus... The damn maroon shirt. I don't know. Ooh, the expiration date on the food was August 5th, so definitely old vid. I didn't catch that. Yeah, I, and I get this too. Depression looks different between people. It's irresponsible to suggest that hairbrushing is the first thing to go for everyone. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree. And let me tell you, Mama Goob has a, too much experience with people with serious, serious depression. So you guys, I give, I give so little fucks about her right now. I'm so pissed that she just pisses away her chances at everything just for the YouTube coin. Okay, baby girl, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like she's only getting rid of all this stuff so that when the new partner moves in, she has an excuse to do some shopping and rebuy all the stuff with them, and adopt their 100% style. Watch. 
I don't believe she'll ever leave that apartment. Well, again, guys, I think she's silly to leave that apartment. I mean, unless she's going to Oklahoma to be near her mother, not with her mother, but near her mother, so she can have an actual relationship, even though I don't think that that's really going to work out. But yeah, I mean, all her doctors are there, whatever. So proud of you, Pookie, for being able to do the easiest job in the world. Wakes up whenever you want and films a vlog. Us normal people, we just don't get it. All right, I'm going to close on this because this this is the comment. You use depression, you use depression as an excuse not to get things done. Some of us suffer from depression and still have to get up and go to work take care of the kids, and whatever else. You have it easy. Grow up. She has no responsibilities, guys. None. Her only responsibility is posting regularly on YouTube so that people will watch her and she can earn more money to get more takeout. So, whatever. All right, guys. So, I'm sorry that I got so fired up about her depression, but it just pisses me off, guys, because depression is a bitch. Okay. I, I, I'm telling you, I can just only tell you in so many ways how experienced I am at this. You have to help your loved one pull themselves out. Okay. She does. She needs to either take some action herself or somebody needs to step in and pull her the fuck out. Okay. Because this, oh, don't bother me because I don't brush my hair because that means I'm depressed. That's bullshit. Okay. That's bullshit and not a good message to send because the right message would be to would be for people who are depression, people who are depressed or their loved ones who notice that their person is depressed is not to let them wallow in it, is not to be kind to them about them not brushing their hair, although you should always be kind, but scoop them up, take them to a psychiatrist, figure out what they need. If they need meds, gosh darn it guys, give them meds. Just get over the hump, get out of the depression, get out of the funk, Get out of your room, okay? That's, yeah, get out of your bedroom in the complete darkness and get help. Don't wallow. All right, guys, I I think I've beaten this enough to death. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for um, continuing to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it especially because Amberlynn Reed gives us really nothing to work on. I mean, I know I've had this depression rant before. So listen, guys, let me know what you think and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.